Hello everyone from around the world and thank you for tuning in once again to my channel where I'm trying to spread the love of healing and in this capacity teach the world about the different modalities that I offer. And for today's video I have teamed up and done a collab with ASMR Beauty where we've done a shamanic healing session and within that realm of work because I offer quite a few different shamanic healing modalities I call the session intuitive shamanic healing because before I actually offer the session on the day to the person or the individual I'll do a meditation and receive guidance about what healing the person may need and how I can and specifically where they may need it and how I can do it with the current skills and resources I have at hand. So I will prepare things accordingly for the session and sometimes the session can be quite straightforward copy paste from the previous one or sometimes I'll bring out some different elements, tools or a different level of energy work needed for the person in the moment that they need the healing. So today is less talking and more about sounds which I think will appeal to the masses who are very much into the ASMR because this is quite a unique modality and not many people know about it that means not many people understand what it encompasses and why I am doing certain things this work or shamanism specifically that I'm offering is or has lineage from South America directly from Peru where I have taken a lot of training from a shaman who his lineage is part of the Mariah which is the highest lineage of shaman that you can have in the world and a lot of these modalities have been passed down to me through the years and over the years and as time passes as an energy worker the more you do just like any other skill in life the more you practice the deeper the work you can go and with the say complexities of a energy field of a being and how many energy fields we have and layers you can really really discover some powerful healings with um, this work so if you have any questions about what I'm doing and why please drop that below in the comments box because it's a sound ASMR please also comment about which sounds you love the most and most of all if you'd love this channel to continue thriving please can you like this video subscribe and follow this channel and stay posted with the goal of releasing a video every Sunday I really hope you enjoy this I hope you unwind I hope you relax and I also hope that you receive aspects of energy healing through watching this video. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of healing. And always, I am Star Friedenberg, your host, if you will. And my work is all about consciously empowering your mind and body through wellness. Sorry, I put it a bit higher today, the bed. We just want to get you as comfortable as possible. Obviously, it's a little bit colder outside, so I think people are appreciating the blankets again now. It's that time of year. I think it's so nice and cozy. Yes, that's the secret. I just want to make you sleep. <laughs> So today we're doing in 
intuitive shamanic healing it's sort of because you've done a lot of therapies with me already there's going to be elements that you will recognize okay. like the sound ball yeah um which does come from aspects of like tibetan healing as well so that's shamanic Sh shaman just means healing really shaman so healer is a shaman okay. so shamanic practices is healing practices um for me when i hear that word i more take it from south american lineage um so for today i'm going to sort of incorporate a couple of different aspects where i'll do energy work i'll use some instruments to do clearing um palo santo have you heard of this is that similar to um sage yes so commonly white sage is used as a method of clearing negative energy and palo santo is the same concept except it adds an element of raising vibration as well so okay. raising frequency so it's cleaning and lifting whereas sage is just like removing yeah. right um so i've got that today i mean i could choose to work with either but that's what i felt so i think that'll be helpful um so hopefully for today's session it will be again one of those things we don't need to necessarily talk but because i'll be using lots of things making sounds maybe that will be okay yeah, yeah. um but of course like first as always we welcoming you into the space how are you today good yeah bit, i did mention a little, little bit like on the anxious side but in more of like an overthinky kind of way not really sure why just one of those days <laughs> So just bringing some sense of grounding today, so yeah. and no physical issues. No, not really today. No. And the cramping. No, although I had one yesterday. Okay, <laughs> left leg. No, it was right leg yesterday. Okay, but it can yeah. and it changes sometimes, or it's more. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, it changes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's first start with the old back flowers your eyes are a bit red though today are okay. you tired so it's really weird i feel like i've been sleeping enough but not good enough quality mm. yeah mm. do you want to try the cbd i get people people i get a company that makes me special cbd tablets so it's derived from it's called the marijuana plant mm. um, and I always say it's all of the medicine none of the fun <laughs> um, but really good to work on the neural pathways of the brain and to calm it can really help with stress anxiety mm -hmm. uh, sleeping issues pain in the body yeah um, so do you just take it before bed or mm. so I say about one hour okay and me yeah. I think I've got a bottle here so yeah I get them specially made Oh, okay. It looks like this. Yeah, I saw the hemp plant on my Apple Watch. I know it's it can slightly underestimate sleep things, but it was telling me that my deep sleep was like really low. Like I think it was like twenty minutes or something. Oh wow! Which I looked up the average, and it should be an hour to an hour and a half or something. Because yeah. I do sleep eight hours, so I don't know. So I always rephrase it that yes, you're physically lying in the bed. Yeah. But we're not very conscious about how deep we go that's why people like to get all these monitors and watches but this is really helpful so if you'd be open to try it yeah of course. give it a go mm. um i discovered it because um my partner who's the athlete he was being sponsored this and i thought i'd give it a go mm. because everyone has a little bit of stress and anxiety mm. <laughs> and insomnia issues that i work with here so um and it's really helped a lot of people with chronic disease and illness as well. So it's been very game changing. So yeah, we'll yeah. put this for, I'll put it on the floor. <coughs> I still forget it. I always forget. <laughs> anyway. So I've picked three today, which is interesting. One's for a bit of like stress, anxiety, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of trauma, traumatic situations, so or something that has overwhelmed, something to do with patience. Okay. Feeling more calm or taking things a bit slower, but maybe because you've been doing a lot. <laughs> um, and this one is what it is, but it's something to do with something regarding the subject of like jealousy. Interesting. 
I see that today, especially today. All right, is yeah. that resonate? Yeah. Very much. <laughs> okay, <so>. okay. <laughs> Maybe not for the camera, but yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna lift your tongue. Is it something that can be easily resolved, or is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's more than me. Okay. Annoyingly quite jealous, but. Are you? Yeah, I oh, know. <laughs> Probably I am too, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like related to fear of missing out, right? And then what other people have, like, wonder if it's better or not, but you'll never know, right? So. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I always think when I get those feelings. I think probably someone else must be thinking the same about my situation, yeah. right? Um, but just tuning into it because it's almost like you spend your energy focusing on it mm. rather than being present and enjoying the moment with what you have, which is always difficult, I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, to almost, ex I call it like your evil twin, right? It's just trying to overpower you with thoughts that are a bit lower vibration. Yeah. Um, but also taking these flowers will help with frequencies to help keep bringing you up. Because if you start to come down a bit, that's when, you know, more stress and anxiety can step in or people then can get easily or susceptible to getting sick with low immunity because our vibration goes down, so. Mm. Yeah, okay. but with all the work you're doing, it's, but it is like, a, I call it like a merry-go-round. We get up one level and then you get your next lesson and it's just constantly, but from where you probably were, let's call it two, three years ago to where you are now, but, mm. but it's good. I think it's a very powerful thing to identify certain characteristics or traits, right? Yeah. And then that gives you room to go, okay, how can I work on that next? Definitely. But you don't have anything to be jealous of. You're amazing. Yeah, it's like sleep and jealousy. It's like not the most <laughs> pressing. But yeah. No, but you're wonderful. Absolutely oh. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> if if we were perfect, we wouldn't be here. Okay. We have lots of lessons. Lots of lessons. So I have some shamanic cards. So I'm going to ask you to shuffle them and you can pick one. I don't know what they mean all off by heart. I have a book, but I don't have the book here. Let's so I'll read them. I can't shuffle. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to do a very, very poor attempt at shuffling for you. Maybe it's exactly what's needed. <laughs> That's good encouragement. I always make people shuffle for me when I do games. <laughs> That's the card. Definitely the card. Wind. So as I say, I don't know the, de the direct definition of by heart, but for me intuitively what I'm getting from this, well maybe I can show you the card. It was all about going with the flow of things. Okay. Right, so in effect, be like the wind. It can be a whisper. You can be anything, you can be passive, or you can be full on force. You know, everything is within your power. Mm. And the idea is not to get stuck or blocked, it's just to go with the flow of things. So, letting go, just letting go and go with the flow. Yeah, whatever that may mean for you. I like that it's quite open ended. Mm. Like, room to chew on it. <laughs> room to digest. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you to hold these crystals. I think you have held these before, yes? Yes, I think. Yes, I don't remember when, but yes. <laughs> okay. So just can close your eyes and relax. I'm just going to touch your head.
And like always, we're inviting you into the space. And as the door closes, you're completely shut off from the rest of the world and nothing else exists except in this space here and now, in this present moment. Inviting you to witness your breath. Nice, slow, deep breaths in through the belly and out through the belly. Just observing how your belly rises and falls. And we like to encourage that kind of movement and pace throughout the session. Just relaxed, nice and slow and deep. And with every exhale, you are letting go of any thoughts of the day, any difficulties you're experiencing. And just keep telling yourself that you're just coming into this present moment, even if it's for a few seconds. just to feel stillness. With no attachments, no thoughts. You just are. Thank <laughs> you. 
thing that we don't have to have any stress and worries about tonight or tomorrow.
just to invite you just for one minute to bring your awareness back in the room but still remain relaxed. Coming to that awareness of your breathing. Just witnessing how relaxed and calm your breathing is compared to when you first arrived. Feeling this frequency of stillness that's emitted into you and me and in this room. Almost like we've teleported into a different dimension. In our little bubble. Slowly start to think of all your extremities, like your feet and your hands, how they're holding the crystals. Wriggling your toes, remembering you have lower limbs. Just even maybe just turning your head ever so slightly. Connecting your upper body to your torso. When you feel the time is right, you can slowly open your eyes, coming back into the room, bringing in that sensory awareness. really tell what you meant about the stillness this time. I can really feel it in the room and mm. around me. Mm. Yeah. It's like a different dimension, isn't it? Yeah, what you said when you hit home. Especially, I just felt like, I feel like around me it's very still as well. Yeah. Mm. So what I've tried to achieve today is just expanding your aura because it feels like it was a little bit too close to the body so things were just getting to you mm -hmm. so just creating a bit of an expansion just you can stay in your metaphorical bubble mm. thank you you're welcome <laughs> yeah I'd saying from today's session I picked up something here okay something around here, just above your knee, and just a bit busy around the head as well, but that was sort of known, but there's something here for clearing, so okay. it could be something about digestion, maybe you ate before, maybe you're hungry, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just try to clear that a bit for you. Mm. That's a calm. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it has... It's actually been a while, so I'm like remembering how nice it feels mm. to like be here. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, it feels so calm afterwards. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
Yeah, the, on the surface this appears very weird and subtle, but it can be quite deep. So mm. the energies are going to con continue by penetrating through you today, tonight. So hopefully you can have a good sleep. Yeah, quality sleep. <laughs> you tell me tomorrow, mm. like, what your watch says. Yeah, I have to tell you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome.